friends, it's that time of the year. The Olympics is here. Today, we're diving into the world of the USA basketball. We're designing an epic poster for the 2024 USA basketball teams in Paris. Now, with all the buzz around the game and the controversy sparked by my boy Noah Lyles. World, world, world champion of what? The United States? <laughs> it's the perfect time to create something special to commemorate this time. So let's get straight to it. Yes, sir. Before we start to designing, I had to go grab some inspiration. So let's go look at some of the past Olympic posters and some of the current sports trends that's going on right now to grab some great inspiration. Mwah. Oh, say can you see? Oh, see. So the first things first, I had to go back and look at at least the first poster of the original 1992 Dream Team. And this is what I got. It had all the people on it, so I did want to kind of incorporate that into my design. They had like this American flag going on in the background with the USA logo in the left hand corner. So I did want to incorporate that. And I also wanted to incorporate some fireworks because I just felt like America fireworks is just go hand in hand. And I like that it said America's team. America! It's like, no, nah. anyways. And it had like this outer glow on there. So I did want to kind of use that in my design as well. And then there was another poster that was more like a digital painting type of style. So I did want to try to incorporate that into my design as well. And once again, it has like this American flag in the background. All of them incorporated American flag. I didn't want to be so cheesy like that. Cause I felt like it's just like basic, like, oh, the flag with the Paris Olympics, but I was just like, I just don't want to use too many flags, but I want to show flags without showing the flags. So maybe let's use the patriotic colors of the red, white, and blue. You see what I'm doing there? And then maybe some stars or something like that. This is the picture of the Redeem team from 2008, led by Kobe Bryant and my boy Big Mello. You feel me? So they came back and won the goal for America for them. But for this poster, it looked kind of focused on just the main characters with the big three, which was Melo, LeBron, and Kobe. But they had to throw D Wade in there because I think he was the highest scorer at that on that team or whatever. And then they kind of like showed all the team like huddled up at the end and then they put the coach in there. So like, I definitely wasn't going to put Coach Kerr in there because we don't know how long he's going to be there. But like... <laughs> <laughs> but he got the job done so i mean you know you can't really hate on that you know what i'm saying i kind of like the big three so i wanted to incorporate that and i really like how it had that like chalky it looked like chalky backgroundy painted background pretty much the chalky background i kind of wanted to incorporate that into the image as well cool and this kind of had like the other chalky background as well and then i wanted to use some of this like fog blue hues in it in some capacity as well anyways next up i really like how they had these stars here so i wanted to kind of incorporate the stars in the red white and blue in that capacity I, like i said i did not want to put an american flag in there but they still were able to add the stripes with the stars and the red white and blue so i like that as well but for this one they only focus on the five people but i did want to incorporate the whole team because it's a team effort you know, whether you played or you didn't play, it takes a team, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stay ready. <laughs> I try to use some inspiration from football, some inspiration from soccer and basketball. I don't wanna just have one mindset when you're going into something, you gotta kind of grab inspiration from a lot of different things. For this one, I really like how clean it was using a white background, but it used the wet, red, white, and blue from the Texans. And I like how they incorporated the stars in there as well. So that's pretty much that on that. But the main thing was I wanted to use the player portraits. I wanted to use a lot of red, white, and blue, obviously had to. And I knew they were gonna win gold. I just felt it in my heart that they weren't gonna come back with the silver. And I know y'all saw how Steph Curry went crazy. That man is a robot. I'm telling you, that man is a robot. I shook that man hand, the hand that did that. But anyways, that that was crazy anyways let's get to it so based on my research and based on looking at everything that i saw got inspired and once again you guys i'm always going to bring this up right here this was my idea didn't want to go too crazy but as you can see i added that chalky background i was going to put the names of the players at the top but then i decided that was going to take up too much space so that i ended up just putting 
something at the bottom here and I wanted to add the logo. I want to use the side here for the like the border. And these were all the players, the top three players that we saw. And then I wanted to put the bottom players at the bottom here. So now that I don't need that anymore, let's go ahead and throw that out. And let's get started on the design. Now let's bring our concept to life. You guys, I started off with the background and all I did was use the pen tool and then create like a nice swerve and then I added a gradient into it in there, had the big gradient going from a light blue to a dark blue. That was it. And then obviously I started with the placement. The placement was going to be the most important part of this idea. So I wanted a nice little, it seems like a nice little hierarchy going on. So it has the top three players at the top, you know, brought this home for us. And then we have the following other players that I feel like it, it's tiers, it's levels to the support of the team you know the foundation is the bottom and the core of the team you know what I'm saying the defense and all that stuff and then you obviously got the the major super mega stars at the top and i went ahead and kind of colored everything so next we're gonna have to go ahead and start adding some effects to bring some of the lighting and dynamics to each image so we're gonna start off with lebron james so all i did like i said open up camera raw filter i added some texture i dropped the highlights down a little bit and then i also play with the color mixer by pushing it to like a reddish yellowish since there were so many pictures of the players everybody had different types of temperatures so like a little bit more blues a little bit more yellows and stuff like that so i kind of want to push everybody more to like the red orange skin tones so that's what i did for all of the pictures every single one i went ahead and added some selective color and i went ahead and moved the blacks to like the right to bring back some of that darkness into the image itself i use color range to boost up some of the highlights and then i always have to use dodge and burn using that 50 percent gray layer just dodge and burn everything to bring it to nice lighting that's it it was more dynamic it was looking a little flat dodge and burn it create something dope okay and i did that for each of the main characters to bring that pop of light into their eyes, I just used the exposure layer and then boosted up all the way. And then I just masked out their eyes and that's what gave their eyes like that nice little pop of light. Now for the supporting characters, I didn't want to spend as much time because at this point I'm already spending like two hours just making adjustments to the face and the, all the other main characters. So for the bottom characters, I just try to do some of those settings in camera raw without having too many extra selective layers for the supporting cast all i did was texture clarity boosted it to the reds like i said before reds and yellows and then i just dropped down that noise reduction all the way up so then it was nice and smooth so i did those for everything so it's going to give it that nice smooth cartoony painted look i like that look for when i do certain sports type of style sometimes it needs to be sharp but for this one, I wanted to be smooth to go back to that original inspiration that we had. And like I said, I do that for each one. And I also added a selective color for each one. That's the only other adjustment layer I made. Now it's looking kind of, it looks good. Everybody's kind of toned up. So I was like, damn, we need some separation between each one. So I went back, like I said, kept in mind my inspiration. I went ahead and created a new layer set to linear dodge. I painted like a white chalky brush on it to give some separation between all of the characters. But I, I set the flow very light. And when I was using my pen, I just kind of just lightly did it. It gave it like a nice separation, but it looked like a smoke of foggy, chalky type of vibe. It wasn't too strong. Like if I would have just used a regular soft brush. After that, I went back between each layer because you couldn't have just did one layer. Make sure these layers are per layer they need to have their own layers because if you try to paint it all on one layer it's just not going to look right so anyways i created a new layer set that layer to linear dodge and then this is when i start painting in some of those blue highlights on top of the white highlights that gives it even more of a boost so i put that in between each layer to give it like some like some more separation and then now i'm like okay so now that it has like a little bit of the the blue highlights i have to start adding some highlights obviously around each person's face and around the outlines all you got to do is add color fill layer use the same blue that we just used you can use blend if to give it nice like it's a nice smooth highlight transition on the face so it's not so harsh sometimes you want the hard highlights and then you want a nice soft reflection the light hit different for everybody the light hit for anthony like i said when he's turning because the light is coming from 
the, I guess at this point, it's the right side or the left side, depending on how you're looking at it. I just made sure I added highlights for everybody. But for the top two people, I added like a nice, strong, like white highlight for KD and LeBron because they're in the white space up at the top. So they don't have too much of the blue spilling over, but I still wanted to give them some sort of pop of light up there and set that layer to linear dodge. And then by this time, it's looking pretty good, but I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, but it, I felt like it was still missing a little something. So I was like, okay, let's start adding in some more elements. So I was like, this is a perfect time to try to add in these fireworks. Now the fireworks gave me the most amount of problems only because it was on a white background. And if you set the fireworks to screen, then it wasn't going to work like that. It only worked when I set it to screen inside of the image itself. So then I was playing around with the background. I was like, oh, should I make the background black? Should I add a little bit of red into the background so I can help the fireworks stand out a little bit more? And I was like, all right, we're doing too much. Then I end up changing the, the border from blue to red because I was like, okay, Maybe it's too much blue going on. Where are we going to get some red in this image? I pretty much just swapped the colors and I just made it a light red to a dark red instead. And then at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep the background black. And I was like, no, 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 we got to keep it white. And I was like, okay, what I can do is I could set the fireworks to screen still on the white. It's just not going to show up as prominent. And then what I did is use a hue and saturation layer because the original firework was red, but I wanted to make it blue because now that we have the red on the side, we got to keep everything inside of the image kind of the same color tone. And I felt like since we already have blue highlights, we might as well just use a blue firework. So it's like the highlights are coming from the firework type of thing. I placed a few of the fireworks in different locations. I added a little bit of noise at this point. I'm adding some of the final touches. At this point, to me, it's still missing something. You got to add some gradient layers, like overlay. Now, at this point, I'm like, okay, it's coming out pretty clean. But I feel like we still need a little bit of separation from that white to the background. I did go ahead and add some shadows inside of the shoes, as you can see at the bottom here, to give it like some more depth and some more three-dimensional, like they're coming up off the page. So I did create one more layer underneath i set this one to linear dodge as well and i just set the flow to like 75 and i painted like white to give it like a nice glow coming from that white background and set the glow to all around the edge because i felt that i felt like the edge was a little bit just too sharp and i just painted that around i was like all right all right but i was like we still need to add a little bit more blue like we don't have enough blue here it's just like it's too it's too red white blue like in the middle so i was like how do we do that so obviously i added just like a little gradient and i just set the gradient to like a regular linear gradient from the corner into the middle so it's like red white blue boom and that solves all the problems right there and i set the blending mode to linear burn so then i could still have that like chalky feel on it because i still wanted that to come through as per the inspiration that we've seen and then i was like damn we need some stars it's looking kind of dry, like we still need to incorporate some America in there. So I went ahead and on Envato Elements, I went and found some gold stars, downloaded them, and just put them in there. At first, I did play around with them. I was like, oh, make them silver or stuff like that. But then I showed a few people, and they were like, man, we finna win gold. Why is it silver stars on there? Like, we're going for the gold, baby, gold. So I was like, all right, I'll turn them back to gold for the final. But I did play around with the silver, and it was originally going to be silver because I felt like the silver just matched the color scheme better. And it did, but, like, the gold worked too. And they was like, we can't be speaking silver into existence. We going for gold, baby. So I was like, all right, yeah, bet. Like, you're right. Let me turn them to gold. Yeah, that was it. Pretty simple design. I think this joint took me, like, maybe two and a half hours worth of work. But I just wanted to, like, play around. It, it was the Olympics, and I was inspired. Like, that performance by Steph really had me, like, going. So I was, I was screaming, jumping around the house. That was a game, man. And I don't think we'll ever see something like that ever again. The Olympics only comes around four, every four years. So I felt like I needed to make something for the Olympics. I hadn't made anything about Olympics the whole time. So yeah, man, I think it came out pretty good. I probably do like a review video of like all of the dope Olympic posters that I saw during this week. Or during the two weeks, because now obviously the Olympics are over and everything like that. So everybody's pretty much put all the graphics out there. So I'm going to scour the internet. The internet. I'm going to scour the internet and go find some of the dopest Olympic posters and see some that stood out to me 
that I liked as far as like concepts and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. And voila, mwah, magnifique. This USA basketball poster came out pretty fire. I gotta say, it's another one takes the cake. You feel me? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for any future designs, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you're interested in joining Only Dope You, our Photoshop bootcamp will be starting and kicking off in September. Now, go ahead and join the wait list because spots will be limited. In the meantime, in between time, thank you for watching, keep learning, keep creating, and most importantly, keep hustling, keep grinding. I'm Ollie Dope, and I'm checking out. Yes, sir. Bang!